Okay. This is gonna be like a quick update. Like, well, not. It's like kind of a thing that I do to help me. And as you can see, in front of you on the screen, on the computer, iPhone, iPad, computer, TV, whatever screen you're using to view this on, you can see that there are two balls. They're both rubber band balls. A super tiny colorful one. And my main huge one. Now, this is, like, what I do is, like, if I have, like, a bunch of rubber bands with me, more than 10, or something like that, I usually, like, put them in a rubber band ball. And then, um, once I get home, or I get to that larger one, I undo it all. Undo the rubber band ball. Um, transfer, like, transfer, like, take the rubber band off the smaller one, put them on the bigger one. And... Yeah, I'll take this small one uh, completely apart to show you how I get this big one. Yeah, I know. Almost there, to the end of the ball, like almost to the corner of the ball. Now, if I do that big rubber band ball, it would take me a while, and there would probably be over like a billion rubber bands in there. And like, I've noticed, like on some. Like, if you take apart some rubber band balls that have been, like, been compressed in some sort of strange way, like, over time, those rubber bands will be, like, decaying because of the pressure that's on the rubber bands and so on and so forth. Almost there. Right here, last rubber band on the coil. All those colorful rubber bands were in that small rubber band ball.
and you're thinking, whoa, wait, these small rubber bands will not fit on this. Ah, you're wrong. Think again. I'll show you. Yeah. That purple one is on there, ball. And I can do it the rest for the the rest of the So yeah. Just to give you an update on the rubber band ball. It hasn't grown much since that last video about it. Yeah.